Hey everybody and welcome to Robin's house. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a technique that I used in the fresh paint scrapbooking pages. So the technique isn't as available on the on these pages. I'll show you the three places that I I did this technique. So those were my first three and then my second batch turned out quite nicely. Look at how nice this one is. Very, um, I, but I think it just ended up being uh, how I wrinkled and crinkled my plastic. So this technique is technically called smooshing. And the idea is that you are, um, we're gonna, I'll do that black one first in this corner so we can, Kind of mimic this, see if I can put it here so you can kind of see. So I'm aiming to put some black here in this corner. So I get out my black ink pad. And I just get some plastic. So this is just a wad of foam that goes in my thing. And I'm just going to kind of make it as crinkly. I actually have pretty good luck using wet. And that might be why my uh, second ones went well. So what I did is I only had one piece of plastic and I would wet it and then use it on a new color. Um, this one is dry. So let's see how this looks. So I'm just taking my ink pad and I'm just dabbing my plastic in the ink pad. And then I'm going directly, oh, look how nice that looks. So it doesn't look like this one. This one looks even better but I also didn't pay attention. This is supposed to be uh, a corner thing. I got a little carried away, but um, you can see how neat that looks. Um, and so there's that one. And then I'm gonna put my black one to the, actually, you know what would be also making sense is I have to create my black, my black, my black, my black my black diamond. Uh, so this is a slice of pizza that needs to turn black as well. So I'll take my, my plastic. Look at how neat that is. I just want to kind of cover all of it so that it's basically covered. But in real life, you only really see a piece of it. But since you don't really know as you're doing it, so with you, when you put new color on it, it's nice and dark. As you put old color on it, it, um, it fades into the background, but just, I just love that. So now I am done with my black. I can either wash it or put it aside and grab another color. So black is done. So if you're gonna, I did black first last time, and then I did yellow after that. And so if you're using your same plastic, don't do that. Uh, if you're using different plastic, you can go in any order that you want. But so the next ones that we need to do, are the nectarine splotch and then the, the lemonade splotch. So now this happens on two separate pages, but I'm just gonna do it here because it's fun. So nectarine is next. So after this, I'm doing nothing new. I'm just going through and I'm doing it again, but I'm gonna do my thing up in a different way. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so you've got some. <laughs> look at how cool that is. It'll look awesome on my pie slice. Again, I want to. I want to see you do one dark, and then if you forget to go back in the ink, it's going to be lighter. So just vary it, and it's going to look so cool. And this is so easy. Look at how cool that is. Very fun. Okay, so now I'm done with the, the nectarine. Now it's time for lemonade. So on my lemonade piece, I need one up here. In that area. Lemonade ink. Um, um, so when you're when you're scrunching up your thing. One area might be pretty solid and the other is pretty splotchy. So I try to choose the splotchy areas. So 
So if you want all the same darkness, just keep dipping your ink in the thing. And if you want, you know, mixed up, you can go that way. So that is, this is how, basically how I did my scrap pages. And then I had my, my pizza slice. Which it isn't actually a pizza slice. It only looks like a pizza slice. Um, so there's that one. And then finally, the prettiest color ever, Capri. So I don't do Capri on the page. I'm only doing Capri on a pizza slice. Ooh. It ended up being the coolest looking one of my pizza slices. Um, I don't know how or why, but it did. Um, so I'm gonna, this isn't, maybe I'll just use like this end. So pretty, look at how pretty Capri is. They're gorgeous. So now we have the pizza slices that are supposed to go. So um, when you do yours, you're going to do the lemonade, a black, a Capri, a second black, and um, a nectarine. So, and then two of them are gonna be larger than the other two. And I think that it is lemonade and Capri that are the big ones, because these ones look pretty small. So, um, but it's also in the directions, which is which, but um, I think just by looking the lemonade and Capri, you wanna do those. And then, so see how nice these came out. So pretty. That is all you have to do to smush. Hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting.